Hello from London Gatwick Airport. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. Welcome to the Sheffield Gatwick South and train station. Today's flight is with British Airways from London to Tenerife. Yes, I'm going to get a little bit of sunshine. And I'm flying in Club Europe, which is effectively business class. I'm going to go through security and see you on the other side looking for the lounge. This is a bit of a secret hack at London Gatwick. Most people end up going down these stairs or escalator, but in fact, you can access the lounges from right here past security. So on the whole, the business class lounge here for BA is pretty comfortable. I was surprised by quite how busy it was at kind of five o'clock in the morning. There's a hot breakfast on offer, lots of nice pastries. Looking forward to that. Now there's no announcements here, so you do need to keep a close eye on your flight to make sure that you don't get lost in the sausages and have to run down to the gate in a tizzy. Today's aircraft is going to be an Airbus A320. It's already showing a slight delay, about a 45 minute delay getting into Tenerife South, but it's not clear if that's due to the longer flight time or a problem with the equipment. I guess we'll find out. Well, that's it for the business class lounge. They've just posted the gate to number 33. Let's head down there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Surprising detail, there's no heating on in this part of the terminal. It's absolutely freezing. It's pretty quiet back here. To be honest, this is pretty tight. Place all larger handbags securely in the overhead lockers. So it should be a smooth flight down to Tenerife. Once we do get going, flight time is three hours and fifty minutes. If you need to work, and I did, Wi-Fi is available on board for £7.99 for this flight. Speeds were up to 1.3 megabits per second, but for 80% of this flight, the Wi-Fi didn't work at all, and I kept getting this message. Frankly, not worth it on this one. A subscriber said to me that 
there's almost never any point in paying for business on a European airline. That was after my recent Lot Polish Airlines video. Let's check that out up here. And Turkish Airlines, both in business class. That subscriber argued that European business class is never worth it. So is British Airways business class worth it? For the seat, absolutely not. For access to the lounge, absolutely yes. The food options on board are great. The welcome, I have to say, is unsurpassed. So even though European business class is probably not particularly worth it on short haul, those added extras are beneficial if you don't mind paying a little bit extra for it. But if you're paying serious business class rates, don't bother. I'm aware I get to say that while enjoying a glass of champagne. It's not all bad. It's not that big. There's nothing particularly special about the toilet on board the A320. It does the job and was quite clean mid-flight. What more could you ask for? At Passport Control, there were different lines for UK citizens and EU citizens. Very glad to have my wonderful Irish passport. Although, I don't think there was a huge difference today, to be honest. So, in summary, how was that flight with BA? It left about 40 minutes late, but arrived on time. Business class was good from the perspective of food and service, access to the lounge in advance. But to be honest, the seat wasn't any different to flying an economy. And if price was a factor, I would not pay the extra for it, if I'm honest with you. Why don't I try out some big international business class flights? Now, hopefully some of those are coming soon. Thanks so much for being here for this episode of Planet Patrick. Until the next one, take care. Bye bye. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick.